Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial. Uh, we are exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5 and the series we are going through all the preferences and uh, currently we're in the selection and anchor display section of our preferences. This particular video is about anchor point and handle display. I have a document already open with this guy here. If you want to follow along and would like to open the document that has this fella in it, you can go ahead and do so. That would be in your Exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5 folder. And he is going to be Anchor Point and Handle Display AI. They're right there. Okay, back to this. I'm going to close that. Okay. Now, if you're in Windows, go to Edit and find your preferences. Uh, on the Mac, it's under Illustrator, Preferences, Selection, and Anchor Display. Okay. What we're talking about here is the, all the things that are in this box the anchors, handles, and these options right here. By default, these should be over here, but I was just messing with them. I took like three takes of this video because I kept tripping over my tongue way too much for it to be acceptable. So here I am again. Hopefully I can actually speak real words this time. Alright. So, what we're seeing here is this curved line represents a path. And these three dots represent anchor points. And same with these. The difference between this one and this one is that the selected anchor point is slightly larger and on this option here the selected anchor point is the larger one but also the anchor points that are not selected are going to show up uh, as these little white boxes with no fill in it. Okay and this down here represents what your handles are going to look like. By default your handles are going to look you know filled small like that and then the next one they're going to be filled but larger and on the next one this is uh, hollow white no fill on your control points these are control points handles whatever whatever you like to call them it's not what you call something that makes it what it is okay so let's go over to our document if you open if you're just following along go ahead and pull out an ellipse of any sort is fine or any shape but something curved is better if I guess for this because when I take my direct selection tool the white handle the white arrow and I click on a stroke you'll see that my uh, my control points and my anchors or, or, which are the same thing and my control handles show up like this the one I have selected turns dark. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, we can see that a little bit better now. So, any control point I have selected is going to turn black and the rest are going to be white. And it's fairly small. It's on a it's on a black uh, line, so it might be hard to see really. So, let me take go over to my layers. I'm going to double click on my layer here and change the color of this black. Let's change that to something I don't know, gold. Let's try gold. It looks orange to me, but okay. There we go. That shows up a little better. So when I select my my anchor point, you can see that this is rather small and as with the uh, the control handles. If we go to preferences, selection and anchor display, let's go to the next one. All right? This one here. Now keep an eye when I hit OK, keep an eye on the control point uh, there and there. Actually, just this one is fine. So click OK and watch it. Watch it get a little bit bigger. Big deal, right? Yeah, I know. Huh? All right, let's go one more time. Go to the next one. What you should see is the anchor point itself is going to stay the same size, stay solid, but the um, the anchor points that are not selected are going to get a little bit bigger. So when I hit, keep an eye on that, and then I'm going to hit OK. You see that? OK. If 
references back again. Now let's take a look at the control handles. So the control handles are these things here, right there. And by default, this is what it is. If I select this one, those control handles are going to get a little bit bigger. So keep an eye out for that when I click OK. Did you notice that? OK. Preferences, selection and angle display once again. You know what I've been doing? I've been saying ankle when I'm trying to say anchor. See if you pick up on that next time I say it. I've been messing that up a lot. That's why I took three takes before do doing this video here. I kept saying multiple ankle points. All right, so let's go to the next one. We'll click on this one, and what you're going to see when I click OK is these control handles are going to turn are going to turn white. So watch. See that? Yeah. Not a real big deal, but I figured we'd go through all of these preferences and be very thorough. Now, highlight anchors on mouse over. Okay. Highlight anchors on mouse over. This is selected by default, so you'll see that when I'm over here. It highlights it when I find one. Okay. Highlighted. Highlight right there. Let's go back and turn that off, and you will see. If I uncheck that, it'll tell me if I have my guides enabled, my smart guides. Smart guides enable you to see that little word pop up when you uh, select over that. We'll, we'll get to that, but um, you'll see that I find the anchor and it doesn't highlight. All right, preferences again. Okay, so I like to have that. Who, who wouldn't want that? I don't know. It's a you know, that's why it's called a preference. It's my preference to be able to see that. Now I'm going to go show handles when multiple anchors are selected. By default, it's doing that. So let's take a look at that. My direct selection tool. All right. Now, when I select one anchor point, they still show up. If I click another one, and another one, these are my anchor points, the control handles stay visible. Now if I go back one more time and uncheck show handles when multiple anchors are selected, now they disappeared. These are already selected, so you notice that they just disappeared. I'm going to click away, click on it once again. They all show up when one of them is selected. If I hold down my shift and click another anchor point, they all disappear. And that's what that means. So we'll go back to preferences, selection an anchor display, and uh, that pretty much does it. We made it through the, uh, the selection and anchor display preference pane. So I uh, hope you learned something there. hope it was useful, and uh, thank you for watching. For Cartoon Smart, I'm Brian Zykowski.